everyone, it's Megan here from Megan Makes Do, and today I want to show you how to knit this beautiful cartridge stitch. This stitch is a beautiful textured stitch. It almost kind of looks like ribbing if it were going the other way. Um, and it's a very beginner friendly stitch. It kind of reminds me of like how you would fold an accordion, just the way that the stitches work together to make the texture. Um, but if you can knit and you can purl, you can definitely do this stitch. Um, and you can also find this stitch in my brand new blanket pattern, which this is my blanket. Um, for today's tutorial, we are using Lion Brands Schitt's Creek yarn in the color A Little Blush, as well as five and a half millimeter knitting needles. So I have mine on circulars on a cord. Um, that's just what I prefer, but you can also use straight needles as well. So here in my little swatch, I've worked up a few rows here so you can kind of see the texture of the stitch. It's a super easy three row repeat, um, very beginner friendly and works up rather quickly. So you can cast on whatever number of stitches you prefer. Um, the stitch count is not super important. It doesn't have to have a, a multiple of anything. Um, so for my swatch, I have about 20 stitches cast on and I just use a long tail cast on for my swatch. Now in my blanket pattern, I also was doing a special technique to get more straighter looking, cleaner edges. Um, so I'll show you that technique here in this um, video as well. So row one, how you start your cartridge stitch, we're going to, with the yarn in back, we're going to slip the first stitch purlwise. And then we're just going to knit each stitch across until we get to the last stitch. So row one, we are just knitting all of the stitches and our slip stitch at the beginning and our purl stitch at the end is just a technique I like to use to get straight edges. If you prefer not to, then for this row, you would just simply knit each stitch. Okay, so for my last stitch, we will purl. And then we'll turn and for row two again for our special little technique to keep the edges nice and clean with the yarn in back we will slip the first stitch purlwise then bring our yarn in the front and for row two we're going to just purl each stitch all the way across so again if you don't want to do the special edge on this you would just purl each stitch for row two. and then turn and then for row three we're just going to do the same thing that we did for row one so again with our yarn in the back we're going to slip the first stitch purlwise and then knit, knit each stitch across until we have one stitch left So rows one and three are knit rows and row two is a purl row. And when we get to the last stitch, just to keep that nice edge, we're going to purl the last stitch and then turn. And then we just continue to repeat those three rows until we have the length that we want. So you can see that we're almost like we're making stocking that stitch, but we're switching which direction we're going. Um, it'll kind of look 
like like an accordion fold. It kind of weaves in and out of itself. So well, our next row repeats, we'll repeat rows run through three. So we're going to knit, purl, knit, and then just continue that rotation over and over. So knit, purl, knit, knit, purl, knit, knit, purl, knit. And you'll get this amazing, beautiful textured stitch called the cartridge stitch. If you wanna give this stitch a try in a bigger project, feel free to check out my new blanket pattern. It's available for free on my blog or as a kit with Lion Brand yarn. I hope that you enjoyed this stitch tutorial. If you wanna see more, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel.